Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Play Avadon, the Black Fortress. This is uh, a game by Spiderweb Software, as you can see right down here. It, it's a few years old by now, but it is uh, the first of the or the first in the new series by the studio. Um, the second being Avadon 2, unsurprisingly, and. Um, yeah, so I have not played this game, but I do have somewhat of a history. Well, I'm, well, when I say somewhat of a history, it's really the only a very little, a very little bit of history with uh, Spiderweb Software's games. In particular, I have played and completed uh, Nethergate Resurrection uh, on the side of the Celts, and uh, I have played but not completed uh, the. Avedon, uh, not not Avedon, uh, Avernum 1 remake, Avedon, I keep saying Avedon, oh my, Avernum Escape from the Pit. And uh, yeah, despite the fact that uh, I have um, over 50 hours, I think, uh, into the game, according to my uh, Steam library, I have not completed it, and I'm very sad about that. Quite annoyed, actually, and I've always meant to go back and uh, right that wrong. However, uh, as you can see, I have decided to first tackle a different series that might be a little bit more beginner friendly, even though I'm not really a beginner. I'm somewhat familiar with the engine, uh, just not this particular game. Anyway, let's just go get into it, shall we? Um, maybe take a quick look at some settings. Difficulty, okay, I can set that later. Uh, I've already adjusted the scrolling speed. Uh, warning before pause, I guess. Graphics, okay. Uh, resolution, yes, that should be fine. Extra details, of course, all the details. Game area, color depth and startup, uh, yes, of course. Okay. Uh, not sure about the combat grid, I might. Whoops, a little hiccup there. Uh, I might have it uh, draw the full combat grid. I have to get into a comment and see what that actually does. I have increased the game text size since, I, since I'm playing uh, in a slightly, uh, slightly smaller window for recording reasons. Yes, I'm. You know, I'm also sound level should be fine. Okay. Um, instructions. Let's see here. Oh wow, this is uh, quite exhaustive. Can I scroll here? Let's see, I don't think so. Oh, oh no, I can. Okay, just not with the mouse wheel. Okay, That's, this seems really exhaustive. Okay, so I might uh, look into this, but off screen, of course. Yeah, well, uh, there should not be a safe game. Oh, I guess. Uh, no. No, 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 never mind. No save games yet. Uh, okay, character choice. Yeah, this is w one of the very few things that I know about this game is that it's uh, ha it has been criticized, I guess, by fans of the earlier games um, as being a little bit more, I guess, casualized. Uh, although I don't really like that uh, that label very much, and um, even if it has been casualized, uh, I'm not generally or not necessarily opposed to that notion. Uh, the thing is that um, I, th I think you only have one character in this game, whereas the uh, Avernum series and the Geneforge series too, I think, uh, as well as Nethergate, used to be uh, party-based, so you had four or even six party members, depending on the game. And uh, this brings it down to only one, even although you might have uh, companions later on. I, th I guess you will have, just not. You're, you're only going to create one character, and even that might be relatively toned down. Uh, we'll see. Actually, I have no idea. I'm seeing this for the first time, so I'm, maybe I shouldn't be talking this much, but. Uh, rather uh, reading the text. So, welcome to Avedon. First, select one of the four character types to the left. Use the text box to change your name. When you're ready, press the OK button. Okay, so my name. Hmm. 
I guess the choice is between two male and two female characters for the sake of well actually I, I'm I like to play as a female character in games if um, the circumstances are right I have no problem with that at all however if there is only one character in this case I'm going to be a Tantuo and um, that brings down my choice to either the Blade Master or Shadow Walker. Let's see here. Um, Blade Master is a true warrior. He is most comfortable in a massive suit of plate armor, wielding a sword and shield or a huge halberd, striding boldly into a crowd of foes and sending them flying with mighty blows. Blade Masters are not subtle. Blade Masters are natural leaders. Their war cries can strengthen their allies and weaken their foes. They can also challenge enemies, keeping them away from fragile members of your group. So. The typical warrior, I guess, uh, either defensive or more offensive, but with some tanking capabilities and heavy armor. Shadow Walker, uh, those are warriors of the shadows. They count on cunning and evasion, slipping through the guards of their enemies and delivering le lethal blows. They can attack with blades, thrown, thrown razor discs and pots of noxious and deadly alchemical substances and then vanish into thin air. Shadow Walkers have many tricks to evade, stun, poison and heavily damaged foes. Also Shadow Walkers can pick locks and disarm traps. Oh, um, yeah. I was going to say, meh. Uh, I'm not opposed to playing as a ninja type character. I mean, let's call it what it is, right? Um, but between these two, between warrior and ninja, I'm, I'd rather take just the somewhat bland standard choice of warrior for my first blind playthrough however I really like being able to pick locks that is that is something I always try to pick up even when playing a, a warrior if I have the the ability to uh, customize my character I usually give them uh, and of course if the game has uh, a mechanic like this I I always like to give them uh, some skill in lock picking and or well and disarming traps if uh, if present. So that this this bit alone makes me reconsider possibly. Well, okay, let's uh, just for completeness sake uh, take a look at the shaman and sorceress. So shaman, the shaman has dedicated her life to nature, and nature in return has rewarded her with great power. She can use her connection to the wilds to heal and bless her allies, and when angered she can call wind, lightning and fire to devastate those who challenge her. The shaman is rarely alone. She can call wolves or eventually drakes to serve and protect her. Also she has the unique ability to heal wound wounded allies. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Maybe not perfect for a solo character, but in a party I'd really like to have a shaman. But as I said, um, even though you only create one main character, I'm pretty sure you will have, you will most likely have uh, more party members later on. So I'm relatively confident that I'm going to meet a shaman, even if I don't start as one. And the sorceress, um, probably the same things could be said could be said about her. She uh, has dedicated her life to the mastery of the, the arcane arts, fragile in battle, yes. Uh, she makes up for it with the ability to summon forth clouds of fire, lightning or ice, obliterating her foes. But that is not all. A sorceress can cloud the minds of foes, even potentially causing them to fight for her. She can bless allies and curse enemies. She can even use spells to pick locks and disarm traps. Hmm. Again, I guess all of these characters really are somewhat suitable. Actually, Shaman almost sounds like the most interesting out, out of this bunch. But I kind of like the character portrait of the Blade Master, and I'm going to go with him. So, okay, and I guess that's really all the character creation that we get. Um, I am not going to pick casual for people who are new to fantasy roleplaying. Yeah, that's definitely not true for me. Um, I guess I typically take 
normal if I don't know the game, or hard if I do. Uh, more experienced gamer. Foes will do more damage and be a lot harder to kill. Torment. Yeah, I'm not one to choose the extra difficulty usually. Ultimate challenge. Yeah, no, that doesn't seem right. Uh, the game starts out quite easy, but when it comes to challenges, you get close to the end. Nice moderate. I guess that is really the best, the best choice. Um, particularly particularly for a let's play setting so let's go with that you are a warrior of the Midlands Pact the Pact is an alliance of five nations banded together for safety the Farlands enemies of the Pact surrounded on all sides these are nations of barbarians raiders titans as titans being those big guys back there faded jealous empires are waiting for a sign of weakness Alright. The Pact has one purpose, to crush the Farlands and keep them weak and divided. Otherwise, they will invade your homeland, take what they want, and massacre whoever stands in their way. You have spent your life training and preparing to defend the Pact, and you have done well. Your skill and potential has earned you the greatest of honors. You have been sent to serve at a new fortress, Avalon. Okay. No connection to the fortress of Avalon. Okay, I had to pause there for a moment. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Avedon, not Avalon. Um, Avedon, the Black Fortress. I guess it sounds a bit. Uh, sounds like the uh, usually usual <laughs> residing, uh, usual usually the residence of the antagonist of the game. But in this case, it's our home base, or it looks like it. We'll see, maybe it will become the enemy. The warriors of Avedon watch over the five nations of the Pact. When anyone acts to harm the peace and tranquility of the Pact, Avedon has the authority to destroy them. Its authority and independence are almost without limits. And Avedon's power is not only over the outsiders of the Farlands. Anyone who tries to weaken the Pact from within is subject to punishment. Brigands, spies, politicians, all have reason to fear the eye of Avedon the Eye of Sauron, and the attention of its master, Keeper Redbeard. Barbarossa. Oh, that must be him. That must be the man. <clears throat> Avedon has watched over the pact for three centuries. Its warriors wield the finest weapons, its wizards can learn the most powerful spells, and the Keeper of the Black Fortress, Redbeard, directs them all. Few outsiders know anything about Redbeard. There are plenty of rumors. Some say that he has three wives, each a deadly warrior. You've heard that assassins try to kill him every week. They all fail and in turn receive the most gruesome punishments imaginable. Some believe that Redbeard can see into your dreams. Wow, what a man. Outsiders, if they are lucky, never get close enough to Abaddon to learn the truth. But you, today, you will meet Redbeard yourself. You are standing outside the gates of the Black Fortress. Alright. Oh, we're not done. You stand on the bridge, over a deep misty chasm. The Iron Gates of Avedon are before you. Beyond is your beyond is your new life. Full of adventure, danger, power, wealth and service to the Pact. The Black Fortress looms over you, perched on an enormous granite peak. Granite peak. The gates open a crack granting you entrance. You step through and your service to Abaddon begins. Okay, and with that we have our... Uh, the opening screen of the actual game. Welcome to Abaddon. These messages will pop up to help you learn to play the game. Click somewhere to move your character. Okay, we got a nice little tutorial. Um, we can move. The game is grid based, so I. Or so I think. Yeah, definitely grid based. Even though the grid is not displayed. But I can only move to set points here. Alright. Um, we'll. Okay, the message is gone. Don't know if that was a time thing. Let's get. Uh, let's get ourselves. Or ourselves. Um, familiar with the uh, 
user interface, shall we? So we have an auto map here, or a mini map. Okay, hold tab to see the entire map, hold shift key to see creatures' names. Creature names. Shift key, you say. Okay. So, so far only my own name. Um, also, the roster turns purple, whatever that means. Um, alt gives us, an, or not alt, tab gives us this uh, larger overview of the map. And, um, okay, I can't interact with this. It doesn't seem... Okay, but I can click left or right click the minimap to jump the camera. Okay, right. Um, I've already set the scrolling speed to slow because uh, we have auto scrolling once you move the cursor to one of the screen's edges. Oh, we have here the experimental wolves. Okay, those names can also be displayed or will also be displayed when I hold shift. All right, one more. Um, okay, this is our melee weapon, our uh, missile weapon. We have abilities, inventory, journal quest log. Right, report to Avedon. You have just arrived at Avedon. Find someone in authority you can report to, like the old man on the east side of the entry courtyard, who I have not seen yet. Okay, so I have not seen more... I, have, I haven't seen anything past this screen, I was going to say. Okay. Uh, you start to cross Avedon's entry garden. Considering how terrified most of Linnaeus is of this fortress, it seems rather pleasant. Ponds, nicely tended lawn. To the east is another pair of gates, leading further into the fortress. A pair of guards, wearing plate armor and wielding massive swords, stands to either side. There is also an elderly man in long flowing robes. He has a pair of what looks like wolves in front of him. He is shouting commands at them. They don't seem concerned. Keep crossing the courtyard to the east. All right. Uh, as I was going to say... Oh yeah, okay, now I can see him. Uh, Craftmaster Nicodemus it actually tells me his name, even though I have not spoken to him. Well, that's fine. I guess it would be preferable if uh, the game actually concealed such information until my character really knows it. But it's not too bad. I'm going to learn it soon enough. Okay. Grr, snarl. Roll over! No, I don't want to. Okie doke. Um, yeah, that was my quest log. Right. Um, instructions. Okay, that's that. I can always refer to this whenever I need to. That's good to know. Save, load, quit menu. Okay, that's just the game menu. I think, yeah, escape does the same. We can uh, start or, yeah, we can start combat at any time. Okay, that will only Okay, yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to check out, right? So I can enter combat at any time to attack NPCs, for example, if I want to. And I, as long as there are no uh, enemies nearby, I can always exit combat mode as well. Uh, so what I wanted to see here: game settings, uh, full combat grid. Let's see what that does. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Actually, I kind of like this. I mean, it's only while in combat, and it might help, actually, to position my characters um, in a in an advantageous manner. All right, okay. Um, just to finish exploring the interface here, we can click this or hit A. Oh, okay, and doing that, Oh no, I, I know what I did. Uh, let's see here. And combat. Yeah, so as soon as you uh, hit A or click that button, you get here, and uh, actually every spill, every <laughs> spill, every spell gets assigned a quick letter or a letter to quickly access uh, each skill with the key keyboard. So I guess you can actually play this game without the mouse entirely, but I'm going to try and use a combination of both keyboard and mouse. Sometimes it's it's quicker to click on a target um, than to figure out its its hotkey and hit that. I guess um, we'll see. For now, I'm going to try this. Uh, so we have a savage blow, uh, doing more damage than normal. Fatigue one. Okay. Um, I guess 
I'll take a look at our stats actually pretty soon. Okay, and the current damage depending on our stats and weapon and stuff. Challenge, okay, that's our um, our taunt. Affects all nearby foes. What exactly nearby means, we don't know, I guess. Doesn't exactly tell us how close they need to be. Nearby foes, drawing their attacks, regenerating for three turns. And uh, a second wind. Every eight turns, healing ourselves. Alright, okay. We have quick spell slots and quick use slots. Uh, those are... I think uh, F5 through F12, if I, if I remember correctly. Let's see here. Okay, I can click that and assign, assign them here. And when I hit F5, yeah, okay, it tries to do a Savage Blow. Okay. Good, good. Um, inventory, I, okay. Does it not show me my stats, though? Uh, let's see here. This window is where you can equip... Uh, where you can pick up and drop items, equip or remove them or use them. Okay, right. So, this is a pretty useful thing. It shows us everything on the ground in a certain radius around our character or characters. At least that's uh, how it was in Avernum. Since this is just a version of the same engine, I'm assuming that many things work the same way. We also have our equipment here, pants, uh, yeah, 2% armor, and a tunic, no heavy armor yet, a dagger, also not quite ideal, but it'll have to do, I guess. Quick use, scarabs, don't know what that is all about. Uh, a gem by an item, okay, we don't have any usable items yet. Junk bag, okay. Okay, uh, if you uh, you open your junk bag, if you don't want an item, put it here. Items in your junk bag can all be sold at once. That's really useful. I like that. Okay, cool. Um, can I actually look at... Oh, yeah, okay. So I can look at my stats like this. Wait a second. No, this is instructions. Um, let's see here. I'm trying keyboard uh, shortcuts right now. W weapon mode. You need to equip a missile weapon. Okay. So W probably toggles between melee and uh, missile. Oh, T is a, a nice little log window. Okay, that's useful. I don't know. Do I want to have this on all the time? I cannot move it. Oh, actually, I can move my character while this is up, of course. Um, I'll have it off for now, I guess. There is nothing interesting in it anyway. Uh, Z, U, I, whoops, I is inventory, of course. It does not close the... Uh, I does not close this window, though. I don't like that. G actually does the same thing. G, forget to pick up items. Although it's all just the same uh, UI pane or panel. Okay, a, a opens the abilities, uh, S, D, F, okay, F starts combat, G is grab, as I just said, J is my uh, journal, although uh, I think journal wasn't even bound to a, um, wasn't bound to any key, so I bound that when I looked at the key bindings before, L, Y, X, C, V, B, and M. Okay. There doesn't seem to be a key for... No, this is instructions. F1. Oh, whoops. Load quick saves. Yeah, okay. I should learn what save and load quick saves are. Okay. Alright. So, F4 is quick save and F5 is to load. Okay. Gotcha. And F5, uh, F4, so F3 is to, to quick save, F4 is to quick load, and F5 through F12 are these quick slots here. So there is no button for opening the stat screen, but that's fine, I guess. Um, vitality. Uh, your vitality goes down when you run out. You can only use basic abilities. 
Wasn't this talking about... Um... Wait a second. Fatigue 1. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll learn about combat and all that. I'm really trying to... Trying to do things I'm, I'm not even supposed to figure out. Right, let's talk to Nicodemus, why don't we? Craftmaster Nicodemus, you can uh, you get closer to the old man and his two wolves, though from this distance you can see that something is not right about those animals. Like their lack of hair and their purple flesh and the veins throbbing all along their backs and legs. The man in robes is holding up a scrap of meat and giving suggestions like stand, sit, roll over. The wolf creatures don't respond. Then you get close, which gets an instant reaction out of them. They turn and look at you. Then they bare their teeth and begin to snarl. Okay, so I can watch them quietly back away or try to talk to their master, even though he doesn't seem too much control over them, if any. Um, I'm not going to back away. I'll watch them. The twisted wool things are no longer distracted by the pitiful scraps of meat the old man dangles before them. If you... Uh, you seem much more, <laughs> much softer and fresher. However, the old man and the guards don't seem to react to this. They just watch silently and with interest. What are you doing? Help me! Hmm, is this meant to be some sort of test? <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be the wuss, but I'm also not going to be the, um, like, super tough guy but rather number two, the middle path, the middle ground. The guards smile, perhaps thinking back to the trials of their own, but the old man shakes his head. A test? No. You are a hand. You are supposed to aid in my work. This is your job. I will explain more when you are done. The creatures lurch clumsily towards you. One to your right, one to the left. Then they start to run, teeth bared. Okay, prepare to defend yourself. You have little equipment, indeed, but you were not foolish enough to travel through the wilderness without a weapon. You prepare to rid the garden of the old man's pets. When the wolves attack, you will enter combat mode. You will then learn how to defend yourself. Okay. All right. You are now in combat. In battle, all of the characters take turns acting. During your turn, you can move, attack, cast spells, use items, and so on. Press the spacebar to end your turn early. Okay, let's not do that um, on accident. To attack a wolf, click on it. Defeat these enemies. Later you will learn how sp about spells and other abilities. Okay, so I'm just not going to worry about this. About all this for now. I guess I can just click it immediately or move somewhere first. Not that it really matters. Um, actually, I don't know if I can attack diagonally. I probably can. Yes, totally. Okay, and I almost killed it too. Interesting. It also seemed to regenerate a little bit of health there. Okay, what does this do? Okay, uh, I guess it's a clock sing symbol, yeah. So, clicking on my own character probably skips a turn. Alright, you know what? Uh, let's use the special attack and kill it in one shot. Very nice. The hideous wolf creatures lie at your feet, dead. The guards, realizing that they have a mess to clean up, look annoyed. What were they expecting? To only have to uh, clean up my corpse? Anyway, um, the old man just looks sad. Another mon month of work gone. I suppose I must work on my other trinkets for a while. I... Uh, oh, I am sorry. I am Craftmaster Nicodemus, one of the mages of Abaddon. I think I will be helping you in the future. Um, you called me a hand before? Oh, yes. Redbeard has hands, eyes, and hearts. I am an eye, and... Oh, I am sure you will be explained inside. Uh, this will be explained inside. You will be helping me? Oh, yes. You are one of Redbeard's new hands, yes? When you are given tasks, I will be giving you the benefit of my magic. Some of it even works better than these constructions. He waves at the wolves. Well, I surely hope so. Um... Yeah... Let's not be rude. That is the spirit. But you do not report to me. I was only trying to train the creatures here to get away from the chaos inside. I suppose you should see Hart Miranda. 
I think she is waiting for you. And she will explain what you need to know. Where is Hart Miranda? The Craftsmaster Nicodemus makes a signal. The gates begin to slowly open. Miranda is inside, directing things. There has been a serious disturbance, and she will be happy for your help. Now please excuse me. Then he turns to his wolves, going down on one knee to examine them. Go east through the gates to find Hart Miranda. Her position is now marked on the map window. Okay. Let's uh, terminate combat mode and see here. Okay, find Hart Miranda. Has a nice quest marker. Uh, how very convenient. I don't know if that was a thing in Avernum. Definitely not in uh, in Nethergate. That was more basic. An earlier version of the engine. Uh, can we talk to him again? Yes, we can. Uh, he is distracted by the dead wolves. He examines them closely, trying to figure out what he can do to not create something so hideous and useless next time. He mutters, I'm busy. Go see Hart Miranda. Okay. Can I talk to you guys? Yes. Evadon has many guards, all of them outfitted in fine armor and the highest quality weapons. They are warriors in the service of the Black Fortress, but they are not sent out into the field. They all regard you with a mix of contempt for your, for your inexperience and envy at your potential. And of course, should you turn out to be an assassin sent to kill Redbeard, they are ready to kill you. Yeah, about those assassins... Um, if... oh, oh, I can actually pick up these uh, things. Meat. Sure, let's get that. And that for... oh, okay, and this is the gem I can click to use it, I guess. One charge, heals me for a little bit. Claybow, probably completely worthless, but maybe we can sell it. So I'll take everything I can get in good old RPG manner, uh, RPG fashion. So uh, yeah, those uh, those assassins. Um, I mean, if I have heard that an each week an assassin is sent, and each week he is uh, unsuccessful and punished in a most gruesome way, I guess I don't quite understand why the assassins keep coming. They must be pretty desperate. Anyway, uh, you step into the entry courtyard of Avedon. Fresh supplies are stacked everywhere, waiting to be distributed to the warriors and craftspeople. When Avedon wants something, it gets it. However, the atmosphere of the fort is not what you expected. Uh, it is chaos. Guards and workers are running everywhere. You hear shouting in the distance, the smell of smoke, and you think blood hangs in the air. After a lifetime of hearing how deadly and invulnerable Avedon is, this chaos is somewhat even more worrying. A woman stands in the middle of the courtyard, an island in the chaos, and directs the workers. This must be the Miranda you are supposed to present your letter of introduction to. Click her and talk to her. Alright. Um, secure the gardens. Oh, that's her. Okay, and that's Hand Callan. These are just workers. Yes, okay. Let's see here. Uh, I can display all the NPCs, but can I... Is there a key to display items? Whoops. Um, I think... Oh yeah, okay. So, sorry about the hiccups you probably saw. Um, pressing Alt, not a good idea. That uh, freezes the whole game for a moment. I was looking for a key to press to um, display like interactable objects, but maybe there just aren't any, I don't know. I uh, used to be able to... Uh, for example, these shoes here, they look like something I can pick up. Yes, if I press G, I can get them. Uh, I don't know if that counts as stealing, actually, before I do anything rash. Uh, let me save here. Also, I should probably, maybe, rebind the quick load key. Having them right next to each other, quick load and quick save, uh, makes me kind of nervous. Anyway, so I saved. Let's see here. Can I get these? Uh, the boots are better, as is to be expected. Okay, I can just pick them up. And, uh, wait, can I right click them? Um, uh -huh, click on an item. Uh, double click? No, okay. I 
need to do it like this. That's fine. Okay, and it gives me an, a, a comparison. That's good. Yeah, these are just worse in every regard. I guess these uh, robes on the hooks... Yeah, I cannot take those. Anyway, let's not, let's not waste too much more time. Come to me. Yes, I am here, actually. You walk up to the woman in the middle of the room. Like Craftmaster Nicodemus, she is wearing long flowing robes, the traditional garb of the mage. She is in her early fifties. She has served here for a long time. I know that because I just do. She stops shouting orders and turns to you. Well, pity you didn't show up just a few hours ago. We could have used you. Do you have a letter of introduction? Fortunately, you were given one before you came here. She holds out her hand for it. I guess um, I could ask her some questions, but uh, in if I if I try to roleplay just a little bit, I should really just give her the letter. She will probably get kind of annoyed if I start quest uh, start asking questions, since she just told me to give her the letter. So I'm I'm just going to do that. She takes the letter, reads it, and nods. Then I formally welcome you, Atantuo, and I declare you a Hand of Avedon, with all privileges and responsibilities attached. Congratulations. She wads up the letter and tosses it onto the floor. A servant instantly collects it and carries it off. Normally there would be a period of settling in, testing and so on, but we have had some problems. All of our hands are out in the field, and there is something I need you to do. Now. Oh, that's uh, sudden. Can you tell me about yourself? Hmm, I am a hand. What does that mean? What has happened here? Uh, let's ask a number two first. I am a hand. So much to learn, so little time to teach it. Avedon has hands, eyes, and hearts, and the keeper, and the keeper. I am a heart and honored advisor to the keeper. You are a hand. Your job is to go out and do what needs doing. There will be time to learn more when things are under control. Okay. <clears throat> um, who's the keeper? I mean, I kind of know, but surely you have heard of Redbeard, mighty, ma mighty master of Avedon. Do well, and you will stand before him, displease him, and she gives you an evil smile. Okay, where can I learn more? I think there is a book on the topic near the quarters assigned to you. You can read it at your leisure later. I have another question. Hot Miranda is still directing the workers and guards. She barks out a constant string of orders, which are all instantly obeyed. It is fair to say that everyone is terrified of her. Not me, though. Can you tell me about yourself? I... what? Security is broken. Dozens are dead. And you want to know who I... who am I? I am a heart of Avedon. You will do everything I say, or you will suffer. I think that is clear enough. Uh, what has happened here? You will soon learn that. Uh, you will soon, la soon learn that in Abaddon you are told only what you need to know. This is for your protection and ours. Uh, and what do I have to know? Who decides what I get to learn? <laughs> yeah. The Keeper and the Hearts, like me. And what do I have to know? That we are having a very long day, and you need to keep. Uh, you need to help us keep it from getting longer. Okay, thanks. Right, uh, any changes in our quest log? No. Huh, <laughs> okay. Alright, can I talk to Hank Kellen? Yes, I can. A middle-aged woman. Well, she looks, I guess, middle-aged, yeah. Um, crosses the courtyard back and forth, shouting orders to the soldiers and workers. As hands enter and leave, she grabs them and gives them extra jobs to do. She wears a well-worn bow over her shoulder, and the insignia on her shoulder shows her to have considerable authority. She looks you over. A new hand. Always good to see, especially in times like these. I am Hand Colin. Hart Miranda will want most of your time, I think. Uh, most of your time, I think. But when she doesn't have her claws in you, you answer to me. Um, what are you doing here? She laughs. <laughs> Cleaning up messes. Why don't you come back and talk to me later? Miranda has made it clear that she reserves your labor for her, for herself. And I don't need an argument right now. Go talk to her. Callan returns to work. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. 
Uh, also, you can talk to people across pretty long distances. Good to know, I guess. Pen and ink, sheet of paper. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not going to rob the place blind quite yet. Uh, actually, if this Miranda told me where exactly I need to go, then I didn't quite catch it. Oh, I didn't ask her, did I? Huh. Silly me. So what do I need? What do you need me to do exactly? Ah, she nods. Yes, enthusiasm. That is what I like to hear. We are trying to get things in the main fortress under control, but we have had to send most of our hands away. That means we need you to enter the dungeons and restore order. Oh, I like the sound of that. Round up some round up some stray prisoners. You do not need to go alone. There are two hands who can help you. They are Savelin and Nathalie, I believe. She points to the south. On the way down to the dungeons, you can choose one of them to help you. Only one of them? Once you have met the other hands, go downstairs and speak with Aimamora. He will tell you what fires to put out. The stairs down to the dungeons are now marked on the auto map. Okay. Uh, who are Sevelyn and Nathalie? Young hands like you, eager to distinguish themselves. In one case, extremely painfully eager. I could spare one of them for your cleanup tasks. What do you need to do in the dungeons? That is up to Aimamora. Do what he says. You may use any equipment you may find, and if you survive, it will reflect very, very well upon you. That is vague. I don't want to die without knowing exactly why. Yeah, j let's just ask that. Normally, I guess I wouldn't, but... Trust me, at the moment of your death, you will not care in the slightest about why it happened. Now you are here, and, is, and it is time for you to serve. Go. Okay, fair enough. Oh, new quest. Go to dungeons. The recent disruption has enabled many prisoners in the Avedon dungeons to escape. Go south and speak with Sevelyn and Nathalie, the hands who can help you to regain control. Then go downstairs, find Aimamora, and do whatever he tells you to do. To see the quest you, car you currently have, yes, okay. Alright, uh, of course, I'm going to go every other way, way possible first. So, uh, there's not being, not one of them. Uh, I don't know any guards, yeah, okay. So I guess they... Uh, probably completely walled off, yes, <laughs> all the other areas for now. So it's still still tutorial time for now. That's fine. I don't really want to be overwhelmed with too much new stuff anyway. You enter Avedon's main storeroom, where most of the food, wood and so on brought to the Black Forest are kept. There has recently been a fright here, uh, a fight here. The stone floor is scorched and splatters of blood dot the walls. The wounded and dead have been hauled away. Only one person is visible from here. A young sorceress stands by the scorched area looking down at it. She is smiling. Okay. Where is she? Oh, there she is, I guess. That is Nathalie. Okay. Um, before I talk to her, let's see. Let's explore a little bit, shall we? There are several locked storerooms back here. They probably contain valuable equipment, reserved for someone important. Though, considering the chaos, you doubt anyone would mind if you borrowed something. Indefinitely. However, to get the locks open, you will need to find some lockpicks. You use lockpicks to pick locks. Really? Alas, the picks break when used. Shadow walkers and sorceresses have skills that reduce the number of picks you need to open a lock. Right. I knew there was something... Uh, Okay. Uh, open door. The door is locked and you won't have enough lock picks to get it open. You need two. Okay. Interesting. Um, cat doesn't get me anything. Okay, you need 12. Oh my. Okay. Not going to open that for a while. Ah, oh, see, okay. There are interactable objects. However, um, hmm. Yeah, they they don't get highlighted by the usual suspects. Um. So I guess I'll have to pay attention. Value thirty. Oh, okay. So it tells you if it's valuable. Hmm. Let's get these. I guess. 
the clay bowl probably not valuable at all. So let's leave that. And uh, animal skin can be sold in a store. Oh, wow, value value one thir one hundred and twenty, I think. Yeah, okay, that co combines the whole stack. Okay, good to know. This is I cannot open that. Okay, cool. So maybe choosing the sorceress as my companion will enable me to open those at least that one gate that doesn't seem to be locked quite as quite as well. Oh, a mallet, not an actual weapon though. Neither is the pick. Okay. This is some kind of stables. All the horses are gone though. Okay, I guess let's talk to her. When you get close to the young sorceress, she looks up at you. She is breathing hard, still charged with adrenaline from her recent battle. I did it! I killed them by myself! Not that I will get any notice for it, of course. She takes a moment to calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Nathalie, a hand of Evadon. I have spent long enough waiting for action that I need to take a moment to luxuriate in it. Um, What happened here? Three wretches came out of the dungeon. I was in the main courtyard when I heard them. I surprised and dispatched them, but not before... Um, Did they do any harm? They killed the quartermaster. Not a warrior, but a good man. I spent many hours speaking with him while waiting for something to do. A minute earlier, and I might have saved him. What wretches. Vile little humanoids. Dumb and hungry. The scourge of the known lands. I don't know why Redbeard would bother to keep them around. Um, I think I have other questions. Right, so I'm a hand as well. She nods. You have the look. And a weapon. Well, only a dagger. I hope you have more luck getting sent out than I do. Um, I'm going to clean out the dungeons, actually. She looks startled. What? You? No offense, but you have been here, what, ten minutes? Well, more like half an hour, because I'm really slow, I know. Uh, when some of, us, some of us have been waiting... Once again, she calms down. But you will probably need help. Isn't that the, isn't that the case? Taking one of the other hands with you to share in the glory? Yes? Um, I can take one hand into the dungeon with me. Um, but you have been waiting... You have been wanting to fight? Of course! I have spent my life working, training and sharpening my talents to fight for Avedon. All those years, sun up and sun down, and my reward sitting in the back sitting in the black fortress, waiting to be allowed to risk my life. Yes, I want to fight. I ask and ask, but here I stay. I can take one hand into the dungeons with me. It doesn't take long it doesn't take her long to do the math. One hand out of two. Me and Civilian, the warrior. Well speak to Civilian and compare. She looks at the scorched marks. I'm eager and competent. He is... well, you can see for yourself. When you go downstairs, if you wish, I will come and join you. But you will select me, yes? What can you do for me? I am a trained sorceress. I can summon bolts of fire and ice and direct them at your foes. Or our foes. I do not rely on crude armor or mundane weapons, however, so you might wish to help me keep a safe distance from our foes. Mm. <laughs> a warrior would be useful, but then I am a warrior, so we will see. I will definitely speak to uh, Sevelin first. However, I'm almost, almost definitely going to pick her, just because it is the better match for my, for my own character class. There is Sevelin, he Sevelin the Red, <laughs> as he's also called by nobody but me. Uh, what have we here? Leather gloves. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I cannot. Yeah, I need to put them into my inventory first. That makes sense. I'm also kind of sad that I cannot just double click or something. Can I shift click? No. Control click? Uh, what did that do? Did I just throw them away? I think so. Um, G? Oh, maybe an. Oh, no, that was junk. Okay. Junk bag. Okay, so uh, control click is junk bag. That is good. I'm going to put these in there actually, and these. Or, except maybe I'm going to need the need these for um, the sorceress. We'll see. 
how well equipped she's going to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess these small barrels will not be uh, containers that I can interact with, unlike these ones. Wine? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to assume for now that... Um, you know what, I'm actually going to take these just in case it's not the way I think it is. But since these don't tell me uh, a value, I'm assuming that they're probably not useful to, to keep for selling. What are these? Bricks? Uh, stone blocks, yes. Okay. And uh, there is... Okay, this is just an ob objective of the quest, not the actual way to the dungeons, which is probably down here. Alright, so let's talk to him. There is a young warrior standing guard by the passage to the south, keeping close watch in case anything else nasty comes out of it. He turns to look at you. You see that he is about your age. His face bears a nasty scar. He does actually look a bit older, but okay. Uh, running diagonally down his face. He says, Greetings, I am Sevelin. You are here to stand guard with me? No, I suppose not. We need, we need to go fight now, don't we? I knew the time would come. I'll follow my orders. I always do. Um... You have been wounded. Do you need help? At first, Sevelin isn't sure what you mean. He looks down at his armor, looking for signs of an injury. Then he real realizes that you are referring to his scar and laughs bitterly. <laughs> you mean this? This is an old mark. I, uh, I guess my character should have been able to tell that, but, you know. Easy to forget it is there. I only remember it when I look into the mirror. Or when a stranger sees me. Uh, sorry for reminding you. How did it happen? <laughs> He looks exasperated. <laughs> Even if I enjoy discussing it, this is not the best time. And you can still fight? <laughs> of course! If I am ever chosen for a mission again. Um, I have another question now. So what exactly... Whoops. <laughs> um, uh, what exactly are you doing here? Just trying to be of aid. When things went wrong this morning, all of the hands were sent out on this mission or that. This mission or that. Only I was left, he points to the north, and Nathalie. When wretches came out of, out of the dungeons, I thought I would stand guard until someone found a use for me. The gate is closed, but wretches can slip through the bars. Um, do you know what exactly went wrong? I don't know. The hearts and eyes won't share any information with someone as lowly as me. As far as I can tell, something exploded and everything escaped from the dungeons below. The hands can't help, because they have all been sent out of the fortress on missions. He absentmindedly touches his scar. Being a servant of Avedon doesn't keep us safe. Just the opposite. Do you know what is happening in the dungeon? No, but it must have been ugly. Few of the guards on duty were there. Uh, few of the guards on duty down there made it out. I'm um, not sure I have another question, but uh, oh yeah, I'm going to clean out the dungeons. He nods. I'm not surprised. Miranda needs to send a hand down there to clean it up, and you show up in need of testing. I'm not offered... I'm not offered that... But I am not offended that I was passed over. You think you were passed over? Why? I do not question the wisdom of Redbeard or, his, or the Hearts. They choose who to send into danger for their own reasons. I have learned to simply quietly accept. Aw, uh, don't be so bitter about it. You'll, you'll have your day in the sun, I guess. Besides, standing guard is important, kind of. Uh, yeah, I can select one hand to enter the dungeon with me. For a moment his eyes show a glint of interest, maybe even hope. I came to Avedon to serve. I have spent too long not serving. I was born to fight. I am ready. What can you do for me? I am a blade master of Avedon. I can stand toe to toe with our foes and defeat them with blade and armor, and if needed I can stand in their way to keep them from reaching you. <laughs> not, not necessary, thanks buddy. Uh, you're prepared to fight right now? He wraps his armor with his knuckle, then he rests one hand on the pommel of his blade. I will give everything to prove I can still be a warrior of Avedon. I need to consider Nathalie. He deflates slightly. Yes, yes, of course you do. If you take her, I suppose Avedon needs guards in the corridors and mu as much as anything else. Yeah, I will 
I will be able to choose who travels with me, I know. Oh, uh, okay, so I'm going to choose actually as I enter. So yeah, I'm definitely going to pick Nathalie, for obvious reasons. Uh, you are at the entrance of the Abaddon Dungeons, final resting place of many foolish enough to fight the pact. You notice that a heavy cloak has been left on a table nearby. It might be wise to put it on before descending into the low tunnels. Uh, yes, thanks for the hint. I might have missed that little thing there. Uh, a cloak. Just some armor. Um, okay. Ah, okay. We have a... Uh, dedicated cloak slot. I wasn't sure. Um, Alright, so these all give me some amount of armor, I guess, combined. Not really plate armor, and I'd really like a better weapon than this dagger, but, you know, it'll have to do for now. Um, there is a closed gate here. Oh, it's easy, kind of easy to miss these messages. I try not to, but I might. Uh, there is a closed gate here. The nearby wheel might open it. To use an object or look inside a container, click on it. Okay. This wheel controls the gate to the dungeons. With great effort, you turn it. The gate opens, clearing your path to the dangerous depths below. Okay. Um, let's do that. And I pick Nathalie. Yes. Ready to depart. Nathalie Sorceress, level 1. Okay. Uh, yes. If the game is too difficult, <laughs> the same tooltip that was on the uh, loading screen just now. Don't know if that's a coincidence or... Uh, whatever. If the game is too difficult, you can make it easier. Yes, yes. Okay. Don't think that is going to be necessary right now. Let's see, um, let's take a quick look at her. Level 1. Oh. Wait. Ah, okay, right click. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. I see. So, I need to click this button to open the statistics, but then I need to click the portrait to actually change between them. Alright, so he only has 40 experience, or I have, I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm going to refer to Atantua as me. Although I control all the characters. So experience 40, she has 140. Um, same health. She has more intelligence than strength, that makes sense. Same vitality. Um, yes, I have... 17 armor due to my due to the equipment I have. She has different uh, skills, of course. Firebolt, uh, single target. Oh, okay. Gets better. Gets upgrades on uh, specific levels. That's nice. Uh, unlock charm. Oh, yeah, that's the one I'm interested in. Oh, right, I completely forgot. No, actually, I did not forget. I didn't didn't have her in my party back then. Uh, maybe I can go back up and try opening that lock. Um, it only requires the number of lock picks, though. It doesn't make it so I don't need any lock picks, unless it can be reduced to zero. Probably can. Shadow Charm causes enemies to forget that you are there. If they were attacking you, they might stop. Also gives a powerful shield for a short time. Okay, that sounds useful. Maybe for avoiding combat entirely. Daze. Daze is all enemies in an area, leaving them unable to act. That sounds really useful. Um, I really like uh, crowd control spells. Increases the area at level 3 and at level 6. I can even uh, charm them. Nice. Really nice. Specializations. I guess this is something I can choose at level up. Probably. Okay, and this, the one skill he has not picked is Path of the Shield. Okay, so for now I'm not particularly uh, defensive. We'll see if I'm going to change that or not. Okay, and I can... Uh, 
I cannot select only one character? No, as soon as I move, we all move. Okay. Your peck! Um, you stand at the doors into the Avedon dungeons, possibly the most terrifying place in Linnaeus. Linnaeus. The most dangerous conspirators against the pact are brought here. Every once in a while, one of them emerges again. It is dark down here. In the absence of guards, the lights have gone out. Heavily, several lamps have been left on the table nearby. Get a lamp. Once it's in your pack, press the star button next to it to use it. You can use scrolls and potions in the same way. Okay. I was going to do that anyway. So, let's see here. Hmm. One charge. for Okay, so it's limited by turns. I see. I'm going to put the wine into my uh, junk bag. And these ropes. I'm going to take them. I don't know if... Uh, okay, they don't stack. So, hmm. I don't know what that tells me, if anything. Guess I'll put them down here. I don't know. Uh, it all depends on the game. Uh, in a... And... Does this work? Yes, okay. So we give her the shoes, I guess. Uh, she only comes with a robe and uh, the apprentice rod. Okay, so she does get a basic attack that doesn't cost resources. That's good to know. Um, what was I saying? Right, the ropes. Uh, so, yeah, might be super useful or completely useless. I mean, uh, logically, you should always have uh, some length of rope with you when adventuring, right? because it can could uh, potentially use, be used for a plethora of things. However, whether the engine allows for such uh, uses really depends on the engine. Oh, and characters kind of teleport around sometimes, or maybe they just move really quickly. Uh, it kind of looks like they switch places sometimes, but that's fine. Uh, what was I going to do? Right, Nathalie, put her skills here. These. Wait. Um, isn't her fireball here somewhere? Um. Huh? Did I did I read something incorrectly? Firebolt. Why isn't that among the selectable spells? Maybe I'm missing something obvious? Hmm. Interesting. I'll put the Shadow Cloak here. Or Shadow Charm. Yeah. Uh, Fatigue 1, turns to recover 4. Foes less likely to attack. Blade shield for two turns. I guess it's useful if uh, an enemy starts to uh, to get interested in her during battle. So kind of like uh, fading for priests in World of Warcraft. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Anyway, uh, so this video has been going on for an hour already. I mean, there has been lots of introductory text and lots of me just fooling around and talking about uh, boring stuff, I guess. Uh, I hope this video was uh, was uh, entertaining, nonetheless. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to get started with the game for real next episode. I hope you are too. And uh, yeah, so until then... Have a wonderful time. See you next episode. Don't forget to click like and uh, subscribe and all that. Comment and tell me what you think about this game. Okay, I'm done. See you then. Bye-bye.